Have you ever had the problem of thinking you're going to be forever alone in this game because you have no friends to play with? I had the same problem a while ago, so I looked up some ways to find friends in Sea of Thieves, and different videos have sent me to different places, like the Xbox Looking for Group or the official Sea of Thieves Discord server. But once I got there, I was met with people who were asking for people with over a thousand hours in the game, or people with legendary or triumphant Sea Dog titles, or asking for a bilge when you really just want to be a main cannoneer. And even when you finally find something you like, you message the person, but they don't even message you back. And the last resort is open crew, but we all know how that will turn out. These problems hindered my ability to find someone to sail the seas with, which is why I came up with a few different ways that you can find someone to play with. If you've ever watched this video of mine, you know that while doing Hourglass, it got so foggy during the fight that my crew and our opponents decided to wait it out together. And we actually ended up getting to know each other and even sailed together after the Hourglass fight. We took down a galleon crew while singing Country Roads, watch it if you haven't right here. We had so much fun that we ended up sailing again after that, and then ended up just being a solid crew to have around. So what am I saying here? Before Hourglass was a thing, the occurrence of finding a boat was very low, meaning less interaction between crews. Now if you use Hourglass, it's a guaranteed way to find a crew. So if you're looking for a good crew, once you finish your Hourglass fight, say a good GG's, compliment their skills, and ask them if they were looking for a second. And before you say, but the other team is there to kill you, why would they want to join you? And I hear you, but you probably have more luck than, uh... And plus, people that are solo are more likely to try to find a crew as well, so if you use this tip, go solo. I've met many people throughout the Hourglass and have exchanged nice words through the Xbox messaging, but also some not nice words. The other way that you can meet new people is through Discord. I know I mentioned the Sea of Thieves Discord and how it might be hard to find people in there, but I'm not talking about that one. There are plenty of Sea of Thieves creators out there with their own Discord servers, and I'm willing to bet my bottom gold piece that the majority of them have their own looking for group channels in them. With a smaller, more tight-knit community on it, it could be a little bit easier to find someone to play with. On my personal Discord server, I have people select roles that show what their preferred role is on a boat. So when you're trying to find someone else to play with on my server, you could click on their name and see what role they prefer to see if that works with you. That way you don't have two people on a sloop that don't know how to helm. And if you find someone on a creator's Discord server, you'll already have an extra thing in common to talk about. I found so many people on different Discord servers, and all are so fun to play with. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there because while it's just a game, the people that you play with can make this game 1,000 times better. And also follow me on my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want to learn the rarest sales that you can still get in the game, then click on this video right here and learn all about it.